Get some cobblestone, some bomb bombs, and we're gonna do a little bit of a demonstration. It's time to educate you all on what this is, what exactly I'm doing. So, where is... Oh, also they released two new sacks. Uh, the bronze and silver trophy fishing sack, I believe. So that was cool. I like those. Those are nice. Anyways, uh, bomb arms. So let's act like this is gemstone, right? So the way this method works, I'm about to do this really fast. And you're going to be like, what the hell just happened? Did you catch what I just did there? So here's what I just did. I'm gonna do it slowly this time so you can actually see what I'm doing. Right click with ether warp, auto pet roll, equip the dillo, which by the way stays frozen up there for a few seconds because I am perfectly centered on the block. Instantly right click to get on the armadillo and spin. Then auto pet roll again, right click on the dillo to swap to an endermite, which has an ability by the way which decreases the mana cost of transmission abilities by 40% because I'm using the ether warp instead of an AOTE or AOTV that has ether warp on it because I don't have to hold shift. I just right click, but you can't put ultimate wise on it. So to compensate, I have a pet equipped that makes it cost less. So then I teleport again, switch, right click spin right click teleport spin right click spin right click boop boop between these two locations now imagine a very secret route which i can't show you there's plenty of public ones by the way if you want to try this for yourself there are public dillo routes if you want to look them up public dillo routes are a thing there's one for sapphire there's one for amethyst i have a very exclusive one which i can't tell you about but imagine hundreds of gemstone veins just like this one boop boop hundreds of them back to back to back to back constantly for hours and hours and hours many 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 hours it takes over an hour and a half to set up a route it's kind of insane anyways i have something to show you so the reason I haven't opened my bank this entire stream so far, you might notice that I have 262 million coins in the piggy bank. Now you're probably like, oh, that's just the coins he has. That's all of his coins, right? And then, yeah, that's all of his coins. He wanted to show off the chat. Eh, not necessarily. I filled my bank. That is full, allowing just a little bit of room for interest. That is 500 million coins in the bank. There's another 262 million coins. And then if I go into my ender chest, That's one page. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll call it twelve because this will fill in the gaps. Twelve pages of gemstones. I've hit NPC cell limit two days in a row, and today's the third day in a row. We're gonna sell the ruby here we're gonna sell the topaz as well because why not so that's all the ruby all the topaz it just keeps going like we have we have a lot to go through here okay we hit npc cell line i was about to say that doesn't sound right and there you have it i have just about a billion coins right here what's in here plus what i have is roughly 1.5 billion coins I haven't streamed this. I haven't recorded this. I'm not going to show the route. All I'm going to give you is the way to do it with your own coordinates. Get your own. There's plenty of them out there that are public. Look them up. I'm not going to be the person that leaks it. I promised I wouldn't leak it. So I'm not going to leak it. So anyways, there you have it. That is what 30 virus has been up to for four fiestas straight, making 1.5 billion coins in 20 hours of gameplay. Trinity put me over the limit now where we could do the Abiphone 9F operator chip quest. So I'm going to do that now. In order to do the operator chip quest, I believe you need to have uh, the contact, right? Okay, hold on. Actually, before we do that, let's spend some coin. Um, this is something I have been wanting to do for a while. This is gonna hurt. We have coins and it's time to spend some. We're gonna keep a bill for G-Dry damage, obviously. 
but we have 500 mil to spend here so that's 14 skyblock xp right there because museum we're not using it but yikes oh is that even worth it i would say yes probably if i want to complete this game i was going to need to do that and now coins are oh did i mention i was making like about 100 million coins an hour 80 to 100 mil well anyways let's go talk to tia the fairy we have enough contacts in the abbey phone to keep with the theme of spending money there's one more thing i want to do before then this is going to make some people cry this doesn't at the moment provide an advantage with skyblock xp but i'm sure it will at some point so this is probably not as stupid a decision as it's going to look so i think it's time to get the best abbey phone in the game now here's the thing is uh what what's the what's the best abiphone in the the game so there's the abiphone x for the abiphone 14 enormous but then there's also 14 enormous so they're okay they're just different colors so which one do we get chat i kind of like this one to be honest the the black and yellow it looks pretty schnazzy to be honest i do like that although this one the purple one also would imply prestige because i don't know if i want my abiphone to look like an x thir or a 13 pro because it looks kind of similar to the 13 this one looks like the highest rarity the probably the purple one the other four are discounted versions if you have lower tiers yeah that's what i figured um <laughs> you can't get a trade in with the abiphone x plus unfortunately all right we're getting this I guarantee you this is going to matter in the future. It just doesn't right now. It will give more. It does give more contact slots, to be fair. It gives six more slots, which means probably in the future this will matter. <laughs> we just upgraded our iPhone chat. You know, unrelated, but with my uh, programming money, my side job making plugins for people, I actually ended up getting a Pixel Fold. So that's kind of the version of this that I just did. Um in game so it's kind of reflecting my real life poor financial decisions so there you go nice that cost literally 95 million coins we're gonna sell our old one on the retail or on the used market for 100 coins to npc <laughs> goodbye now we have this let's play some tic-tac-toe here this will give me some practice so i don't skill issue in dungeons anymore This is so scuffed. No! Wait, wait. Oh, I died. Nice. We have games on our phone now. Nice. But most, more importantly, we have six contact slots. And for those wondering, yes, I maxed out the um, contact trios in my phone plan. They added two more of them in the update and I already got it. So there you go. That is the maxed out Abbey phone. Now we get to look at this in our ninth slot, our eighth slot. Now let's do the 9F operator chip quest. So let, wait, call Tia? I don't have to talk to, oh. Hello, we're wearing fairy armor. Now I must speak with you. This NPC is already in your, oh, I have to. Hey, it's you on the Abbey phone. The first relay is on a branch of the large tree on the Northeast of the fairy pond. Make sure to wear fairy armor. I don't personally know what the maintenance procedure is, but I'm sure you can figure it out. So I believe the lore behind this is that the Abiphone is a mixture between technology and magic, and it's maintained by these operator beacon things, and we have to do maintenance on them, and the quest gives you health, I believe. Here it is. Right click here, left click lock in. What? So I had to order them by pitch, I think. It's so quiet. This sounds like the white noise that you would have like There's no sound. Okay, there was genuinely no sound there. I'm guessing that the sound is off in my settings somewhere. Whatever. 
All right, let's call up again. Wow, you figured out the maintenance plan. That's really smart. The next relay is in the castle ruins. There we go. My health increased by another two. The next relay is in the royal palace within the dwarven mines. It's a very high place to revert the signal for the royal council. It's in a very high place. Although I don't think technology can help with their communication problems. I that one wasn't so bad. Nice. Bro, that's just annoying. What? What is that sound? What? <laughs> I got it by guessing. Let's go. The next relay is at the top of the shack next to the shady inn right here close to the pond. Usually we wouldn't have a relay serve so few people, but we were paid generously by anonymous contributors. So generously, in fact, that we also share some of the data from the 9F network with one of the mayor candidates. But hey, let's keep this between us. They'll know if you tell anyone. Who are you? Welcome to the Coliseum. Oh, wait, never mind. Here, you can join me in drinking away your sorrows. <laughs> the gladiator's out of job. <laughs> I didn't know that was there. There we go. That Those gas sounds are almost exactly the same. Bruh. Let's go! It's on top of the auction house. It offers service for the whole village. Oh, wait, no! It's backwards! No! No! <laughs> that was so close! Got it. Oh, my God. The lag, too. Got it. There we go. Nine out of nine. Now let's talk to Tia the Fairy again. There's no dialogue for completing the quest. You want? Fine. Plus 18 health and plus two bonus contacts. There we go. We did it. GG. Now I'm setting my sounds back to the normal volume because that is awful. Very good. We got the operator chip quest done and now we have 18 health and two bonus contacts. Cool. So that brings the total. So we got that done. That was one of the things I wanted to do. Oh, and now that we've suffered through that together, you guys get to see the, uh, you get to see some content. You ready for this chat? It's time for content. So we're going to actually, I need this. We're going to put all of this away. We're going to head into the Crimson Isle and we're going to equip the, um, golden dragon i'm not sure if anybody knows exactly what i'm gonna do we're gonna open some jerry boxes <laughs> we're gonna start with uh the greens then go to blue and then do purple and then uh legendary the, the... so we're gonna do this quick because there's a lot of them so so the goal here is to get talismans by the way that's what i want and when they give skill XP, they're going to give it to the G-Drag, and they're also going to give it to Kudra. The goal is to get 125 total for legendary, um, the Jerry Artifact, whatever it's called. Bro, our talisman luck is... Okay, three. Four. Oh, there's a fifth. Okay, there's our first blue. All right blue talisman on average you're supposed to get one of the talismans every 15 boxes if my math is correct also we started this at like 289 million 100,000 so 500,000 coins so far one in every 15 so about four every stack yeah so we're slightly we're at about average right now rates oh there we go nice another blue There we go. <laughs>